comes out. Late again, Jules. I'm sorry, Mama. But I just couldn't get away from her. Isn't this mom? What a loser. Jules, why don't you tell Mr. Kessler about his wife, that you're hiding her? Oh, I hadn't got the heart. Mama it would kill him if he saw her the way she is. Poor thing. She'd be better off if she died with that man when that car was wrecked. Uh, yep, I, I agree. So. Yes, it's better. Mm, sea foam. Jules, I've been thinking. Maybe she had something to do with all these horrible murders. Oh, oh, oh she wouldn't hurt nobody. She's like a child. Well, She's still good days son. from the accident, you know. Amnesia. But she'll be better soon. Then I'll take her home. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. But if they found out I've been hiding her, they might think I had something to do with the murder. Jules, you must tell Mr. Kessler. Oh, no, no, Mama. We must never tell anyone. Never. How about them Brooklyn Dodgers? They bombs are wide. Virginia Slim's ad used to be strange. That's a good one, a woman driver. Sure you won't come in? No, thanks, darling. I think I better run along. <laughs> good night, Ralph. Oh, Virginia, shall I put your car away? No, thanks. Evans will take care of it. All right. Night. Nice. Waving goodbye or sweating at flies. Good evening, Mr. Virginia. Uh, will you please put my car in the garage when you have a moment? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. Valiant. It's the prequel to Driving Miss Daisy. Casanova. That's Bossanova to you. Let me walk to the other camera before I speak. There. Have you gone crazy? You uh, talking to me? I don't know how to drive. What was I thinking? The only chance I had to see you. You ignored my letters and my telephone calls. Did you think that you could get rid of me as easy as all that? Stalker! You. you bet they will. And you're going to listen to me too. I'm not giving up to that Kessler girl or anybody else. This is different, Cecile. I never said I loved you. She a rabbit. I'm out of here. Are you in love with her? Yes. Well, you're not marrying her, understand? Nothing's going to stand in the way of my happiness. Not even you. Or this tree. Don't threaten me. DC Camp 44. She'll have to know about her sooner or later. Sooner or later. And besides, I'll make you a good wife, Ralph. I promise I will. Back away slowly. Say nothing. Good boy. He's mine forever. Quick, Amos and Andy is on. Guess what? Chicken butt. What? I'm in love. Rob? Yes, yes. He's a fine boy. I am so happy for you, my dear. Oh, he hasn't asked me to marry him yet, but he will. I know he will. <laughs> Good night, my pet. Good night, too. You know, Bella's creepier when he's Good happy night. than when he's a monster. I agree. Uh, can I do anything for you, sir, before I retire? Oh, it's only but three days from retirement. Oh, nothing, sir. I heard it when I was putting Miss Virginia's car in the garage. Is there anything on it? Oh, the bandage. Oh, you may have an infection. Let's throw you into the fire. How's that? Just like new, sir. Hands crafters. New hands in about an hour. Good night, Evans. Good night, sir. Good night, John Boy. Oh, yes, Evans, sir. Thank you for the dinner. Sure. Let's give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Wait, a hand. Ah, uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Oh, that was a nasty sounding part. Ah! Oh, she must be on Ambient. Side effects include headache, diarrhea, and murder! They killed Dumbledore? Walk towards the light, my daughter. And now she holds a boombox over her head. Oh, no, it's... It's not weather-stripped. No! Fire burn! Dude, wrong guy.
in your eyes. And now an alien abducts her. Stop shining that light, please. I'm afraid to come home. You kill me. If she comes home, I'll kill her. You'd kill anybody. For a price. Under contract for six more of these? Sigh! Hey, he didn't flash back to anything! Like that, poof, she's gone. I just dream that whole thing. Well, on with the already pre-scheduled killing. Must kill Lincoln in a fort. Twenty-eight days later, this ain't. Surprise! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Got to find Mrs. Peacock. Take your time there, Bella. No hurry, but then again, we live in a basement. No, Bella, bathroom's on the left. Oh no, he's... He's... He's not using the handrail! No! It's a really awkward way of drying out your hands. Bathroom probably had one of those stupid air dryers. Beware. Be scared. Right there, go back for another piece of cake. Um, that's the broom closet. You must learn that from Velociraptors. I want to change your station. Remember to turn clockwise, you'll be fine. It's Jane Russell! Bow chicken wow wow. Hello, waste no time. Whoa. It's been one to two hours. We'll give you a haircut. Paul Harvey, good day. Blah. Peekaboo. Kilroy was here. And made a commercial. <laughs>